to Jess from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with my contemporary thon vlog. I love contemporary thon because every morning I have, I always watch YouTube while I'm getting ready for work and I always have Chelsea in my uh, subscription feed to watch a video with every single morning to the contemporary thon because Chelsea's been doing daily vlogs and I love seeing our little kittens and I just like love it. But there have been a lot of people doing daily vlogs and I'm really impressed. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Um, I've had a really busy week. It's already Wednesday. I'm like really behind on vlogging. I'm just starting today. Wednesday I had a chiropractor appointment at, right after school. Then I went to Joanne's in the post office. Didn't go home till like 5. And then yesterday were conferences. So I didn't get home until 8. And I left my house at 6.30. So it was a long day yesterday. So I have not had too much time to read. Today I had a meeting until 4.15. Then I had to drop by the post office again. So I didn't get home until 5 again. And normally I get home around uh, 3.45. So it has been a busy, busy week. Um, and I had conferences last Thursday as well. And those are really long days. They're literal 12 hour days, over 12 hour days that I'm working. Um, there's only four times a year though. It just feels like a lot when it's happening. I did finish a book on Monday. I was about 25% of the way into a novella called Lust by Kerr Dookie. It's like a bizarre name. It's the first book in the Elite Seven series where seven authors came together to write novellas all about the different deadly sin and they all are coming out at different times so they're all in the same world and I signed up to review it because Gianna Darling's writing one but hers is the last one and this one let me find the cover for you. It's not... It what I wasn't impressed. So it... I posted about it. This is what it looks like. I have it on my Instagram. It, they're really pretty covers. The first one was Lust. I didn't get Lust from him. Like, this guy spent the first 30% of the book wasted. <laughs> he just drank and got wasted and then woke up the next day not knowing where he was. He woke up in his front lawn. He woke up in his bed. He woke up in his friend's room. Like, it's, I'm just like, I don't care about this guy. And like, something bad happened in the beginning and that's why he's acting that way. He doesn't even meet the love interest until like 30% of the way through and doesn't even talk about this elite society until like 50% of the way through. I was so bored. And then it kind of got the cliche, I knew this was coming kind of thing. So I almost DNF'd it, but then it got interesting. So I gave it like a 2.5, rounded up to a 3, but it's a really low 3. I did not enjoy it. And it was a novella, so I'm like, if you're going to spend a quarter of your novella of just your main character drinking and like wasting the life away, it's not, that's boring. Stop. But I'm intrigued by the other characters and I probably will continue the series. I don't know yet, but that was not fun. But I will count that as a read a book in another format since it is, it was an ebook that I read. I have been listening to Alex by Sawyer Bennett. Um, that's a hockey romance. I've been listening to it on my way to and from school and it doesn't count for any categories. That's just what I'm reading. And then I have my ebook arc of The Risk by L. Kennedy, which has blue on the cover, so I could be re count that as that category. I am 10% of the way into that, and it's so freaking adorable, and I want to read it all, like, right now, but I have so many other books I need to be reading right now, and I don't have to read that until next Tuesday or Monday, so I have some time to finish that. I also got Candy Signer's e-arc of, I don't even remember what it's called, let me look, I'm a horrible person. What He Never Knew. I have been anticipating this ever since she announced it in like December, and I'm freaking out. It's on my Kindle right now, and I haven't even started it yet. And I want to read that too, but that's not going to count for anything for this readathon either. It could be emotional maybe. It's dark. It's a huge age difference, so I don't know. But I have started Fumbled by Alexa Martin. This one, I've literally changed my entire TBR already. That's what happens with me always. I never stick to my TBRs. This I'm going to use as my diverse book. I am about, I was going to say 80, um, 88 pages, and it's pretty good so far. I really don't like the love interest because he's acting really annoying and mean, but for a reason. So, um, they had dated in the past and she has a kid and I had assumed from the synopsis that it was his kid and, um, they just ran into each other now after like 10 years. So I think 10, eight, maybe 10, 10, yes, 10 years. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good so far. I can't wait to read more. I'm going to read more tonight, but of course I have other things to read. So I have book club with my kids on Friday and it's Wednesday and I haven't started a book club book yet, but it's I Remember You by Kathleen Dav David Bell, David Bell. Um, and this, I, it's not contemporary. I'm pretty sure there's like some time traveling in here, but I can just say it's for contemporary thong because I have to read it by Friday 
anyways. I'll probably start this tomorrow. It's pretty short. It's like 300 pages and it's a YA so I can fly through this. I'm gonna read much more of this tonight and those are my plans. Um, so yeah, I have nothing after school tomorrow so I'm gonna go to the gym probably read more of The Chase. Not The Chase, The Risk. Did I say The Chase earlier? It's The Risk by Al Kennedy. I'm a mess. I just need time to read so <sighs> I'm gonna read tonight. Um, yeah, and that's all I have. Beverly Hills came back. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. My sister and I watched it. We're obsessed. <sighs> but that's my life so far. I finished Kill Switch last week. It was amazing. I loved it. I need to buy the paperback. It's huge. It's $18. But I'm gonna buy it because I need it on my shelf. So that's my life. Yeah, go back to work tomorrow and Friday. But then I have a three-day weekend, so that's exciting. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, so it is Friday. It is 4.10. Just got home from work. Um, I had a meeting after school again, so it's been a really busy week. I did not update you yesterday because I didn't really read a lot. I'm still on page... I'm on page 130 in Fumbled, and it's pretty good so far. I want to see how things turn out. I don't know how I feel about TK, who is our football player main character. He's definitely like the opposite of Gavin from Intercepted. Gavin was like the just perfect, nice, adorable man, and he's not. Um, and I read a lot more of I Remember You. Um, I am now on page 210. I got to read for two periods today with my guided reading kids, and so I flew through this book because it is definitely, like, shorter pages, like, smaller words, and it's not that interesting. Um, so we had my book club for this book. I didn't finish it, but we usually never finish by the time we start talking it to each other, and so I was actually further than the people in the club um because no one finished but it's just like really slow and she's like completely obsessed with him so the premise of this is like he knows the future because he's like has memories of it but he doesn't know how i thought it was like time traveling but i guess not i'm aware this is contemporary though but i had to read this for book club but it basically reads like a contemporary except for that so it reminds me of kind of like how salt of the sea is and how chelsea counted it so i'm going to count this even though it takes place in 1994. it pretty much reads like a contemporary except for the fact that he's getting these major headaches and he knows the future because they're memories to him we don't know why he's trying to figure out how to stop stuff She's like literally drops everything is obsessed with her new boyfriend and like I hate books about people like that who are, have like normal lives and then they fall in love and then they're like literally the world revolves around the person they're in love with and they drop everything. She's starting to lie to her best friend, she's starting to lie to her mom and she's obsessed with him. I hate books about and in real life people who get <laughs> completely wrapped up and obsessed with the romance and just like ignore everyday life. So... I don't know. I'm like waiting to see if the ending is going to be a payoff of like why he's having those memories and what actually happens. So we'll see. I did read about 8% more of The Risk. Not The Risk. The Risk. Because her new one just released a new cover. I think it's The Risk by L. Kennedy. Let me look. I think... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's The Risk. Uh, the new one is The Play. She released the cover of The Play this weekend, well, this past week, and it's super adorable. I really like it. She's going with, like, girls on the cover, like she did for her new, uh, The Goal and, uh, the off-campus series. There we go. Um, and it's really cute, but I am loving The Risk right now. I love Brenna's banter with, what's his name? I don't remember his name. It's adorable, and I love the hockey talk, and I am just loving it, and I need to read more of it. And I need to read he, whatever Candy Snyder's new book is. I never know some, ugh, it starts with a he, I think. I don't remember, but I really want to read that this weekend, and I need to finish The Risk, and I need to finish both of these books, and I have a lot of reading ahead of me. I want to finish four books in the next three days, including today. So I'm definitely going to finish this today, and I want to see if I can push myself to finish this today, but I don't know if that'll happen, but I'll update you guys later. I do need to uh, sew some tonight. Um, I'm babysitting my parents' dogs tomorrow. They're going um, on a little day trip, so bring my books over and read at my parents' house and get a lot of reading done. Those are my plans. Super fun weekend plans. Oh, and Half Price Books has 20% off coupon, so I'll probably go. I did end up buying three books yesterday, so 
One of them is going to go to my house uh, tomorrow because I use my dad's Prime account. But then I felt weird ordering even more books after that because I saw a book I wanted was on sale. So I went ahead and bought it on my own account and it's going to take a week to get here. <laughs> but I didn't want him judging me for buying more books. So I bought the one on his, which I'll show you guys then. I also bought uh, Gianna Darling's third book in the Lessons in Corruption series, the Fallen Men series. Good God Bad, maybe. Um, that was on sale for $15. It was originally $20, so I had to snag that while it was on sale. And Amy Harmon's new book is apparently a time-traveling romance, and that one was on sale for $10 for the hardback, and it's normally like $25. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. And then I bought a Pop Funko of Captain America with his beard from the latest Avengers movie, because he was... Yeah what I want. So, um, that's all my update for you. I'll update you guys later. Bye. Yes. Lily was up here, and then Darcy had to grace us with her presents. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, so I have some updates to share with, with some Darcy love. So, I finished I Remember You, um, and... Can I help you, Miss Star Stars? Can I help you? Oh, Lily, what are you doing over there? So, it was okay. I think I'm probably going to give it like a two star. Sorry, Darcy, I know I'm annoyed. Um, the ending was like not satisfying at all. I didn't like, like, the reasoning behind it in like the last like 10 years of their lives. Hi, Darcy. <laughs> Went by so like in three pages and so I didn't really like that what are we just gonna have Darcy action this whole time oh too cute little young your eyes okay too little bit are you tired are you tired yeah so like it was really boring the whole time and then like they made stupid decisions so I think I'm gonna give it a two star wasn't that big of a fan not even contemporary so that's why I failed this readathon but excuse me Darcy I am almost 200 pages into fumbled yes and it's super cute now I actually am really liking TK I didn't like him when we first met him because he was just like a football player player but it's really cute now and like with her son it's adorable and so I'm really enjoying it and we're finally getting more romance I don't even know what that page show that I showed so um it's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it for my diverse read for Contemporary Thon. Darcy loves it too. Hi, baby. And where's my Darcy? My little. We know you all come here for my puppies because they're just so darn cute. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning. It is 9.15. I'm about to leave for my parents' house. I'm going to go over there pretty much all day um, because they're going out of town for the day. And so we told them we stopped by with their dogs and then we're like we'll just stay for dinner too so um I plan on bringing my books I sorry like I literally just got out of the shower did my hair did my makeup so everything's still looking really fresh right now um I have still about 100 pages of fumbled and it's really cute so far I'm really loving it so I can't wait to finish that then I went to the gym this morning and read about 8% more of the risk so I am about 25% of the way through that and it's again it's still so super cute and adorable and I love it. Once I finish those two while I'm at my parents' house, I will start Candy Steiner's book. I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been trying to read Love Revenge for two weeks now and I've had to put it off because of other things and so I had about 100 pages left when contemporary thon started and I haven't been able to pick it up and so I might sneak this in this weekend because I want to read it and it's nowhere near contemporary. It's paranormal, but it's long. Like I'm already on page 500. It's a long book, but I've hated having to put it down and read other things, and I just want to read it. So we'll see if I just pick this up real quick and finish it up tomorrow because I feel like it. So those are my plans. Um, I will talk to you guys when I get back from my parents' house and check in on how everything's going. This is Lily's favorite toy. It is, like, all janky and broken, and she's obsessed with throwing the ball. So... I am home. It's about 7 o'clock on Saturday, Saturday night. She's going to drop it in my uh, lap every time now. And I finished reading Fumbled at my parents' house. And this was so cute. I loved it even more than um, Intercepted. Yeah. Yes. Intercepted. I liked Intercepted. I gave it a four star, but I think I clicked the wrong button on Goodreads at some point because it says I gave it a three star and there's no way I gave the first book a three star because I remember enjoying it. I'm going to give this one. Hi, boo-boo. 
She just handed this to me. You can't see her. She's out of frame, but she's crazy. I loved, I ended up loving TK's character. I liked the direction the book went and what topics it dealt with. Um, our main character really doesn't like football because of the issue with, uh, brain damage and like what happens with concussions and so she doesn't want her son to play it and she doesn't know if she can be in a relationship with someone who plays football and like could just damage their lives. See I throw it and it comes back and you just think I'm magical. <laughs> Look it's back. Literally this ball is gross. Okay but I'm giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. It was adorable. I loved it and I am definitely very happy. I read this early. I gotta write my review. And you all should pick it up when it comes out. It comes out in April and it's a great sports romance. Single mom, second chance romance, really good. Then I picked up My Arc of the Risk by Elle Kennedy. It comes out, it's probably out by the time you're watching this video. I am gonna film a review of it tomorrow. I have 5% left right now. I had to, my parents came home and the dinner was ready so I had to put this down. There's Lily, you can see her, you silly. And so I have 5% left, like I said. I am obsessed. I love this even more than The Chase. I love Brenna's character. More importantly though, like I love Fitz, but like I really love Jake in this. Jake Connolly, I think is his name. He is the uh, captain of the Harvard team, which is Briar's enemy. And Brenna is Briar's coach's daughter in college. I love how there's like actual family members involved and there are a lot of friends involved and it just feels like a really true story like a lot of times romance is only focused on the main couple but this has a whole world that's important I freaking love it I know I'm gonna give it a five out of five stars I love being back in El Kennedy's hockey worlds and I am obsessed and we already know the play maybe the third book is coming out in October which is like super far away but it's nice to have a release date so I check out my review. I probably have already posted it before I post this video, so check out my review of the Risk by L. Kennedy. But you know, I gave a five out of five stars. So good. I did end up going to Half Price Books today to the one closest to my parents' house. So they're about ten minutes away from one location, and um, I'll show you what I got. But first, I want to show you what I got in the mail, and that is Waiting for Tom Hanks by I don't know who wrote this. Carrie Winfrey. Hi, Darcy. What? She's excited. I'm filming. She's like, what's going on? Okay. And this one I was hoping I would get. I saw a lot of people on Instagram who get Berkeley's books getting this. And I got it. And it's super cute. It's about a woman who loves rom-coms like what Tom Hanks is in. And she wants like to have her own adorable meet cute with someone like Tom Hanks. And as gentlemanly as his characters are. And like You've Got Mail and uh, Sleepless in Seattle. And like all those adorable movies and it just sounds like right up my alley. I'm a huge fan of Tom Hanks movies um, that all came out like with Meg Ryan and stuff and so I'm really excited to read this and I'm so happy I have it. It comes out in June. <laughs> Pretty far away but I have an arc so I'm really really excited to have this. And thank you Berkeley for sending it to me. Then I went to Half Price Books, like I said, I got five books, I had 20% off the whole store. Two books I got on clearance for my classroom, the first one's Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkalez, and then I went up and picked up The Owl of the Lost, um, which I thought, like, would be a high interest novel, because, like, I don't know if the, the Descendants is still in, but I think my kids probably remember watching it, um, and would maybe be interested in reading this by Melissa De La Cruz, so... Um, I've heard good things about this, and they're both $2, and I had 20% off, so they're really cheap. I was obsessed with Perfect Chemistry when I was in high school. This whole series, so good. It was my first foray into, like, a kind of dark romance because she is, like, the clean-cut girl, and he is uh, kind of in a gang or trying not to be in a gang, um, but kind of has to do stuff with the gang, so super good. This is still YA, though, but it's, like, I was obsessed with this in high school, so I'm happy to have it in my room. Then I decided to pick up Magic Breaks? Burns? Breaks. So I definitely thought this was book one this series. I didn't even look and this is book like seven. So at least I have it to add to my collection. I don't even know if I have any other Alana Andrews books but it's Magic Breaks by Alana Andrews. The first book in this series is Magic Bites. They all start with magic and then a word with a B. I thought this was the first book. Whatever. It was four dollars and then it was 20% off of that so it's basically three bucks and so I have it. <laughs> it's a paranormal series, so I probably am going to end up collecting the series now that I have book like six or seven instead of book one. You know, that's my life. But I also ended up picking up Love Life and the List by Casey West. I think this is one of her newer ones, and it's like a brand new copy. Yeah, this came out last year, and it's in like perfect condition, and it was only $4.50, and it was 20% off, so it was like 
a little over three dollars and so I was like well yeah sure and if I don't like it I'll put it in my classroom but um, I want just some more YA books I can recommend to my students so I have this one if you didn't know I'm a high school English teacher if you're new here hi the last book I ended up picking up is because I don't own this one. I own the one before it, and I never got this hardback, and I want the whole series, so I picked up The Thief by J.R. Ward. It was $14 for the hardback. It's, like, pretty much, like, brand spanking new. I don't think anybody even read this book, um, and that's half the price of retail, and then that was 20% off on top of that, so I had to pick it up because I didn't own this one, and I'm hoping and praying J.R. Ward eventually publishes the first few books in hardback, so we'll see if I can end up collecting the hardback of the series. They had three other books that were nine dollars in hardback but I don't want to start collecting them until she for sure is going to release the beginning ones in hardback so they're not like a hundred dollars for a copy of that. But I have this. This is the newest one I believe and so I'm still on book seven but it's gonna happen. So my plans for tonight are to finish obviously The Risk. Um, I don't know if I want to start Candy Signer's book or finish Love or Revenge. I know it's paranormal and not contemporary but I just want to finish it and I feel like I could finish it tonight. I probably won't. I'm like a little over 100 pages left and I really probably will fall asleep because I'm like annoying old lady like that. But I might finish that tonight because I want to and I know it's contemporary thon but I want my vampires. Sorry. I just love my vampires. But I will definitely show you guys more about what I'm doing tomorrow since I'll be home for most of the day. I am going to my parents for family dinner that I have over there. So I'm at my parents like all the time. But Lily is like crazy. Especially because it's been raining a lot all week. So yeah. Okay. Um, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and let you know how my reading went tonight. So see you later. Hey guys, so I have no update for you for reading. I fell asleep after reading like 20 pages of Black Dagger Brotherhood. Haven't read more since. I did read the first like two pages of Candy Signer's book. Heartbreaking from the start. So we definitely are going to have a very damaged main character. Um, but I'm excited and I didn't know it's actually a, I believe the main character female is African American, which is amazing. It's going to count for my diverse read for contemporary thon. I'm going to count fumbled as the picture on the spine because it does have, I think, a football on the spine. So that's my reading so far. I went to Half Price Books with my sister. It's 10.50 right now. We went at 10. It's about 10 minutes away from here. And I hit the jackpot let me tell ya. I don't even know how many books I got. I have two full bags here. I walked in, I looked around the clearance, and then I finally made my way to the romance section. And now they have romance, erotica, and paranormal romance. They always put all the books I read under erotica, even though they're not. Please. Um, they, I guess if it has any romance in it, they're putting it under that category. So I always look there, and I got two, three, four, five, six, seven books for $50. Now, to some of you that may seem like a lot, but typically these books retail. So six of these books retail for $15 on Amazon. So six, $90. So I would have spent $90 plus another 25. So full price, these are $114 and I spent 50. I'm pretty proud of myself. They all were half price of the original sale price, and then I had a 20% off coupon for this weekend for President's Day sale, so I am shocked. Six of these that I bought are indie romances, and let me tell ya, I was freaking out. My sister bought two as well, and I left like three there, so whoever was there um, went there and sold back like 10 indie copies of books, and so I am excited. The first one I got was I Bet You by Isla Madden Mills. Yeah, this one is a football romance, I know, and I think I might be getting the first one from someone, so I wanted to get this one. I believe it's the second one in like... I haven't read the series, but I'm very excited for it. The next one I got is another football romance, and it's Chasing Clouds by Katherine Andrews, and I actually spent, I believe it was her. I got to go to Florida with Sarah a couple years ago. I think it's been two years now, a year and a half, for a signing to meet Candy Signer, and we hung out at this, like, after party, and I spent a good amount of time with Katherine Andrews. She's awesome. She has the cutest sons, and she runs marathons, and we kind of talked about that. And I found Chasing Clouds by her, and she's going to be at a signing I'm going to later this summer or next year. I think she's 
both of them maybe? I don't remember. But this one's a football romance and I looked up reviews. Candy Signer had reviewed it, said it was her favorite of Catherine's book so far that she had read. So I almost didn't get this, but since I'm going to see Catherine at a signing, I figured I would get it. And it has such cute, like, look at the detail that goes into these books. It's just really cute. So I'm excited to have this. Then, shocking to me, Bane by LJ Shen. These books, whenever people put, post them to sell on like the Facebook groups I'm in, they go in like a minute and I never get to buy them and this was $8 so I spent $6.40 on this book. I'm excited. I think this is book like four in the uh, Vicious Sinners of Saints series. Vicious was the first book. Let me double check. I think this is book four but I'm super excited to have this for so cheap. Then I found Playboy by Katie Evans. I think this is also a sports romance. I don't know, but I know I love Katie Evans and it is another indie book that I was on sale and I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna buy this. And I don't know where this person got all these because it's not like they're from a book box because they aren't, all, none of them are signed. So they just bought them and decided to sell them to the half price books. The guy, as hi Lily, as I was buying these books, he was like, and my sister bought two of them as well. She bought Reckless by Lex Martin, which I told her she had to buy because I love Lex Martin and I already owned it. And she got something by Louisa Bay, I believe. It was like something night. It's the one that's in London. And so she bought those two. And the guy was like, wow, you guys really cleaned us out. And I was like, I couldn't help it. These are never on sale in normal bookstores and I need them. And he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's why we end up uh, paying really good money for them because they always sell like right away. And I was like, heck yeah, they do. I went at a perfect time. The next book I freaked out the most for. I was shocked to find it there. New release in December. I read an arc by the author. It's my favorite book of her so far. And that is Right Where I Want To by Jessica Hawkins. Like, oh my gosh. I read this last year. I loved it. It was on my top 10 books of 2018. 2018 was last year. And this one is just like so pretty in person and I've come this close to buying it like three different times on Amazon and paperback so I could add it to my collection and I'm seeing her at a polycon so I'm like well I have to buy it like oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm really excited and then the last indie book I bought was Fall by Kristen Callahan this is book three in the VIP series and I own books one and two and I'm like how is this like even like meant to be seriously I this was the first one I saw on the shelves that was indie and I was like oh look at that I wonder what else they have and then I like found all the rest of these I don't know if this is still rockstar romance he is he's a, this is a rockstar romance still and this is a chunky one it's over 400 pages and I have it now and Kristen Callan is gonna be at a polycon too hopefully she canceled last year so I'm hoping to see her this year and I'm excited. And then the last book I bought is YA and I was really excited and I almost wasn't gonna buy it and I was like, I have to because I've been waiting to buy it when it was half price. They have, at half price books, they buy brand new books and sell them for 20% off. And so this one's pretty new and I was waiting to see if someone sold their copy to half price books so that it would be actually half price. And so I did find a copy of The Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is book three in the Dark Artifices series. And this was a used copy. So this one was $12.50 instead of the $20 it is. And then I got 20% off of that. So it's about 10 bucks for this instead of 20. Um, it does retail for $25, so it was 20% off. So they had like 10 copies that were $20. Then I saw this one with a sticker and I was like, yes, please. So I have this finally. I have not read any in this series and I have to reread the entire um, Mortal Instruments series before I can start this series. So I've only read the first three, completely forget everything that ever happened in any of those. Not everything, but like a lot of important things I forget. I remember like snippets here and there because I read them when I was I was in high school, a sophomore in high school, and I am now 25. So it's been quite a while. It's probably been 10 years since I have read the original Mortal Instruments books. So I need to reread those. But I have this now. And I'm super excited. So that was a little impromptu book haul for you. So I just was so excited and I had to share it with you. And my sister was just like there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, buy these. And I'm going to buy these. And we're going to be cool. I never find these good of uh, deals there. I was shocked, especially at this one. The one I went to, I have like four in the vicinity of me that I typically go to two of them. I very rarely go to the other ones. And there is typically, this one's the, probably the worst one when it comes to indie books. But I went at the perfect time with 20% off coupon and I'm very excited. I also have a really exciting package coming today of Kill Switch by Penelope Douglas. And within the past week, I've spent way too much money on books. I know that, I know, but what can I do? Okay, I have videos to film, I have Instagram pictures to take, and then I can read, which I'm really excited. Candy's my favorite, and so I feel like I'm gonna absolutely love this book because I loved the duet, like the duet. If you've been watching me, you know how obsessed I am with that duet that she wrote, and that this is like in the third book of the duet of the person she didn't pick. 
I'm excited. So I'm going to go get my stuff done so I can read. I do have to go to my parents' house for family dinner. There's just lots to do. But I'm going to make reading time. And I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm probably going to stay up late to finish it. So I'll check in with you guys later once I get stuff done. So bye. All right, guys. I'm coming to you from the bed again. There's my Lily. There's my Darcy. They're sleeping with me tonight. They didn't sleep with me last night. They slept with Alexis, but now they're with me. We had a long day at my parents' house. We went there around 2, and they hung out. So, I have my candle right here, and I am a little over 50% of the way through. Um, I'll close that because of spoilers, but it is so good so far. I read a lot of my parents' house while I was waiting for dinner. Um, I read about 40% at my parents' house. I was there from 2 to seven. So I was there a while. I wasn't reading the whole time, but I was reading a good chunk of the time. And this book is really, really emotional, really slow burn, really angsty, really forbidden. He's 37 and she is, um, 21. So a bit of an age gap, but it's so emotional and so good right now. And I'm really loving where it's going. I love her main character. She is dealing with something very hard. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if it would be a spoiler. It does happen in the first couple pages, so she is definitely violated in some way, so that is really affecting her and relationships in her life, so. What is she so, what are you licking? You licking your arm? Oh, you're so cute. Look at how cute she is. This is like their blanket, so that's why it's on the bed. Sorry if it's like, you think it's gross because it's covered in dog hair, but that's my puppy's blanket because they love it. Can they come over here and join us? We'll see. You're so cute. You're so cute. We'll just, I'm going to be reading, and yeah, I just finished editing my hiders, my, um, The Risks. I just finished editing my The Risk review by Al Kennedy, so that's up on the channel, so I will link it down below. But I'm going to read. Hello. And I will end out this vlog tomorrow, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so my camera battery is flashing me, so I gotta make this quick, but it is about 1 o'clock on Monday, and I did read this morning, and I finished my book. Um, I was hoping I'd have a lot of time this afternoon to get stuff done because it is President's Day, so I had the day off, um, but I'm having a little bit of a family emergency, so I gotta go to my parents' house and um, take care of their dogs and just hang out because my dad has to go to work and my mom has to take care of something, so it's nothing... It's, I just don't want to get too into it here, but, um, so I'm leaving soon for the third day in a row for my parents' house, but it's totally fine, like, my parents need to be, be there, so I did want to show you my book sleeves, so I did post book sleeves, uh, to my shop, if you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop where I post book sleeves, and I had a restock last night, so I had a lot to sell, but I thought I'd show you guys what I had left, um, I do always have a coupon code for you guys, it's Peace Love Books 10 down below if you want to see, I have three different sizes of my book sleeves, and so this is one that I have, it's all roses it's one of my favorites and this one fits just a regular paperback so this is uh not by Alice Clayton um it was the closest one I had on hand but it fits perfectly into there and then one that's a little bit bigger is my indie size this size compared to this if you see it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider um and this fits like indie size books and this one is foxes and it's flannel and I'm shocked I just posted this and no one's bought it and it's like one of my favorites the flannel ones are my favorites I also posted these adorable pandas and no Nobody bought these either so if you guys are interested use my code down below to buy some adorable sleeves I've been getting a lot of flannel lately and they're so soft and like this is so cushy for your books um, and then my last two flannel ones of normal size no one's bought these narwhals in two weeks like the this is my favorite pattern I've already made one for myself and kept it so I'm shocked and this one is like a wood background on here and it's got like a nice oh, I just love my sleeves so much all of these are flannel and they're just like so cozy and like really protect your books this one's not flat although this is my one like regular one left but if you want to just like they're just like so cozy and this one like really fits it in there so if you see it can fit like a much bigger book but yeah I thought I'd let you guys know I did go to Joanne's this morning and bought some new fabric so check out my shop down below I love book sleeves because they really protect my books I bring a book literally everywhere so check out these um I need to talk to you about my book. I finally finished What He Never Knew. I think that's what it was called by Candy Steiner. And 
I just want to tell you over it. I'll just go ahead and say it. This book is about sexual assault. So our main character is sexually assaulted in the very first chapter. So she's really trying to recover from that. And the romance was just amazing. I gave it a five out of five stars. It was just so emotional. And it's definitely something that's kind of slower, but it's because the main characters are dealing with such emotional trauma, both of them. So I loved it. It's, you have to be in the mindset though for an emotional read. It's not like super fun and they like go and do a lot of things. It's very much them trying to overcome their past and their what has happened to them and what they feel like they do to other people. It was so good. I give it a five out of five stars. And so I finished, I think, five books. So first I finished Pride, um, which was kind of a novella, but it was over 200 pages. So it was like a really short novel. And that I want to do as the book that was an, in a non-traditional format. After that, I read... What have I read? Um, I think right after that, the only one other one I read was I Remember You, which is that, um, YA book that I gave two stars, and that is not even contemporary, but I'm gonna count it as contemporary, and that has, uh, blue on the cover, so I'm gonna count it for that. Then I read Intercepted by Alexa Martin, I absolutely love that. I'm reading that for a book with a picture on the spine, so good, I gave it five and five stars, it was just so cute, adorable sports romance. Then I read The Risk by L. Kennedy, which I could use as my most recently acquired book because I did just get that on ebook from the author. Gave it a five out of five stars. That is on my um, channel now as a review so I'll link that down below as well. And then I read, I guess the last book I read was Candy Steiner. So I read five books and Candy's is for a diverse contemporary um, and that one definitely is she, her mother's actually from Haiti and so um, her dad was white and her mom was Haitian and so she is a mixed person and she does discuss her race in the book which I loved and I don't remember what the last challenge was. Oh, I did, I did get to read a contemporary I acquired. I did one with Blurple. I did a contemporary. Oh, a darker emotional. That could definitely count for Candy Steiners because she is trying to recover from sexual assault. It's a very emotional topic. So I did do that one. I did not get to a contemporary that I meant to read in 2018. All of these are books that um, are new on my TBR or the, the I Remember You. Well, I meant to get that in like 2015. So maybe that counts as a book I meant to get to in the past few years. Um, and then I did not traditional format and I did a picture on this fine. So I almost, I was so close to getting every book for this contemporary thon. And I don't think I read a single book for my TBR. Did I really not read a single book for my TBR? I didn't. I am awful. I'm such a mood reader that I just like read whatever I feel like reading. But that's how my contemporary thon went. Let me know down below if you did a really good contemporary thon or not. If you succeeded, if you failed. I don't think I've ever succeeded a single readathon I've done, and I definitely have never stuck to a TBR. Because that's just my life. That's what I do. I read whatever I want, and that's what I do. But I definitely have to read a few of the books on my TBR next week because I need to get those books read that I didn't this week. But I am going to finish reading Black Dagger Brotherhood, which I left downstairs because I still haven't finished that. But I only have 100 pages left, so I'm going to finish that. But I read five books in this week, not too shabby, and I read most of them over the weekend. Okay, but that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.